we can go to deductions. And there is some information here for that. So very first one off the bat, interest on, um, on his home. It tells us that interest on, on his home mortgage was 4,600. So let's jump in there, add mortgage. Go ahead and do the quick entry. If you go through the assistant, it's gonna ask you a lot of questions and you don't know the answer to them. <laughs> so just do the quick input. We don't even know the lender's name, so just put in the mortgage interest that, that the text tells you, which is 4600 Okay. Um, and we'll just next through this. Yep, 4600 Okay, and then finish. Okay, and let's go back to our deduction screen. It wants to know, or we know, that he also had... Uh, property taxes on his personal residence. So that would be real estate tax. That's his personal home. And we know that that is 4500 Okay. And then it's giving us some more expense type things that we can input but I don't think that it provided us any of that information. So we're just gonna skip on through that still. Okay, and it kind of like took us back through and we missed some things. So let's go back up here. Charitable donations. It does say that he made some donations. So let's get those in. He donated some money and let's see what it tells us. Contributions to church, paid pledges for 2015 and 2016, $4,800. And remember that because he is a taxpayer, a cash basis taxpayer, as are all taxpayers, individual taxpayers, um, it doesn't really matter when he pledged the money, it only matters when he paid it. So this was to his church. And that's Looks like that's all he donated there. And I think we're missing still his medical expenses. Although he doesn't get the biggest deduction in the world for those, let's go ahead and put those in. He only is going to be able to deduct um, a portion of them that are in excess of 10% of his adjusted gross income. And a lot of these rules we're going to be addressing throughout the course and in other chapters. So right now, um, whenever you see information like this that they give you, the important thing is just to make sure you get input it into the software and let the software do it, what it's gonna do. You don't necessarily have to make a decision on whether or not his medical expenses should be deducted. Just get them input into the um, software. It wants all of this detail. We don't have any detail, we just know that Oh, actually we do. We know it was for dental, so I think that he paid 10500 for his plants. Let's just put in the full amount there. And quite frankly, this detail doesn't really matter, so as long as we got the total number in there. Okay, so let's go jump now and look at the form. The form for... Um, those personal deductions is Schedule A. So we're going to open that form up. We're going to make sure that everything that it tells us he paid for somehow hit this return. So here's the 11500 Of that amount, he's only getting to deduct 3660 but H&R Block Software calculated that for you. That You didn't have to do anything there. You just need to make sure that the 11500 got input. Here's the 3200 um, state income tax he paid. Remember, we put that on the W-2 screen. Here's the real estate taxes we input, 4500 Here's our interest points. Here's the donations to the church. for a grand total of $20,760 in deductions. So this number here, 2760 
is going to be on our Form 1040 now. On our second page, again, we're going to hide our worksheets there. There we go. There's our 2760. So those are all of our deductions. So we know we've captured everything there. So let's come down here a little ways. There's one other thing we haven't addressed yet. As I'm looking on his return right now, it's calculating a penalty for health insurance. It doesn't think he had health insurance. As we go back to the problem, it says that he and his dependents were covered by an employer's health insurance policy for the whole year. So, so we need to figure out where we need to tell H&R Block that he paid his health insurance or that he had health insurance so he's not being penalized. So, here we go. Under taxes, health care coverage. Everyone in my household had health insurance for all of 2015. Okay. Health insurance through an employer. And sometimes these are tricky. Um, you don't always want to skip all the boxes because sometimes not checking a certain box will cause the software to not generate the answer you want on your 1040. So even though you know on your Form 1040 that it should show he had health insurance, it may take some fiddling with the software to make sure you have all the boxes checked so that it will show that. So here we go. Now it marked that he had full year coverage. That penalty went away. And it shows that he had an overpayment of $179, which he wants refunded to him. I think it says once mailed to him. That's everything for this tax return. You can see down here, I put in the paralegal information. Now when you get ready to print it, typically when you submit these to me, I would like it all printed into one little PDF that you upload. So it thinks that you're not done, but you are. Um, you need to install a PDF software. Um, please do so that you so you can submit and save print to PDF. And then you can save it the PDF however you'd like. Probably put your name in maybe the same file. And your set. You just need to do the official return, not with worksheets. Um, see down here, include many worksheets and itemized lists. Don't do that. So here you can actually see my finished return, saved as a PDF, it's all consolidated. Here's a short summary here where we can see his income, his deductions, the exemptions he got for his dependents, tax paid, his actual tax, and his refund. And now here is all the necessary forms to file that you'll be submitting to me so that I can review. They, it's always good to skim through, make sure everything hit the way you want. We looked at the Schedule A. We didn't take a look. Here's our Schedule D we had looked at. We didn't look at this form. This 8949 is kind of the detail to the Schedule D above. So you want to make sure you get your information input in here properly. And there you go. Good luck on your homework.